What is going on guys? So today me and Antonio are going to be doing our FIFA World Cup 2022 predictions. We've got all the groups here. And we're basically just going to see who wins the entire tournament. Let's go. Um, for group A, let me look here. Let me pop it up. Um, that's a tough group for between the Senegal and Netherlands. And Ecuador could maybe get an upset. And Qatar is the home host nation, so maybe they could go on a run. It's really tough to predict in the World Cup, but the obvious winner is either Senegal or Netherlands. But personally, I think Senegal. I know they, they underperform, but I think they might show up this time. So that's my answer. Yeah. For me, um, I think I'll give it to Netherlands as the winner of that group. Um, I think Depay will just have a bit of a good tournament. Um, the only the only downside for that Netherlands squad is their goalkeeper. They don't really have like a like a prime goalkeeper like Neuer or Ter Stegen in Germany and stuff like that. And then Mendy in Senegal is also a little bit better than all of Netherlands goalkeepers, but. I think I think the depth that Netherlands has is a lot better than Senegal, Ecuador, and Qatar. So that's why I think uh, they're going to be on top of the group. And uh, I'll just I'll just go with my runner-up. I'll say Senegal. I don't think Ecuador or Qatar will do very much uh, in this group, even though Qatar is the host city. Uh, they're very low on the FIFA rankings. Um, I think they're less. Th or no, I think they're more than a hundred. I think they're re they're very low. They haven't won, won a lot of international tournaments in, in the past, and I think Ecuador, like, they're a solid team, but they don't really, you know, have the quality that Netherlands and, and Senegal have, so those are my two for Group A. Yeah. Group B. Okay. Group that is a tough yeah. group to predict. It's one of the hardest. It's one of the hardest. Anybody has a case to go on a run and win this group. It's actually crazy. Yeah, in Group B, you've got England, Iran, USA, and Wales. All four teams, you know, could get the, the first spot. It, it's very tough. <laughs> um, England, you know, obviously they've got, like, a ton of talent. You know, they're, very, they're a very popular squad. In, uh, with Iran, you've got couple good players but they're they're a very solid team still and uh usa you know i think they got second in Concacaf qualifying i'm not sure um behind canada and then with wales you've, you've just got a, a team that you know is trying to prove that they're they're at the top here with gareth bale is gonna i think he's gonna perform very well in this tournament so yeah <laughs> who, who do you have winning this group oh man <laughs> I know England's in a horrible run of form, but you've got to say England. I mean, unless something crazy happens, I could see Iran topping it or Wales. I just, I am, I can't, I'm Canadian, so I might have bias, but I just, I, it would be very, I'd be very surprised if I guess Pulisic would have to show up and get them top. I just don't see in what world they could get top. Maybe I'm biased. I think anybody else though has a shout for sure to get, make it to the, the winner. So I, but I'd have to go with England. Because they always show up in the tournaments, even if they're in a terrible run of form in the international stage, losing to Italy, Hungary, like 4 nothing, And who else? They lost to someone else too. My bad. But yeah, they're in a terrible run of form. But I think they'll, they'll show up and get winner's spot here. Yeah, I think, I think England as well. They've just got so much talent. Yeah. Like they, they've got a lot of depth. They're, I think their right back spot though is a little weak. I think Trippier is their top right back. And he's not really like the greatest, but I think I think England will still, you know, win the group. Um, for runners up, though. Oh my, that I, is so hard. <laughs> <laughs> I I'm gonna go cheeky here. I'm gonna go with Wales. I think I said it before. I think Gareth Bale's gonna. Have a it's tournament. actually so tough because I at first I assumed it's gonna be Iran, but like yeah, Wales. They could they've gone on runs in the Euros. It's, I know it's different, but. They have proven to go on runs and shown that they deserve to be here at these exactly. international tournaments. So, off of experience, I guess I'll have to go with Wales. They do have that experience that maybe Iran doesn't have. USA has that experience too, but less to an extent that I think Wales does of recently. So, I think I'll have to go with Wales, but I would not be surprised if Iran or USA go through as well. A bit of Canadian bias, and uh, mm -hmm. we think that most of the USA players are a bit overrated. I think Pulisic is really 
not the greatest player. Like he he's good, but he's not he's not all that in a bag of chips, you might say. So you know, like I don't think I don't think USA does very well in this in this tournament. And also they didn't do that well against uh, Mexico and and Canada in the group stage, qualifying for the World Cup. So. Who knows? Who knows what will happen? This is a very tough group to predict, and I, I think uh, it also should be. Uh, we should also take credit or give credit to um, Iran. Like they're a good team too, but I just don't think they're mm -hmm. gonna make the the top two spots. Group C. Oh, okay. This this one's this is like an underrated group. I feel like. I think Group C, I mean, the obvious answer for the, the, the winner would be Argentina. Um, but definitely Poland and, and Mexico could do a bit of damage. And Saudi Arabia too. I don't know, I don't really know much about all these teams except for Mexico, but I, I'm picking Argentina as my, my winner for this, for this group. Yeah, I would have to agree. Though I wouldn't be if, I wouldn't be shocked in this group that I just it has that feeling that maybe maybe this doesn't age well, but uh, that it has that feeling that there's three big teams that Saudi Arabia could maybe somehow get out of this group and it would be huge. I have that bit of a feeling, but if I'm gonna be realistic here, I think Argentina does top the group with Messi's last run, and they're gonna really want to win it for him. Yeah, true, true. Like Argentina's a solid squad. No doubt about that, but this group is is a tough one to predict because you've got Lewandowski on on Poland, right? And then you've got just like Saudi Arabia always seems to to do decently, like you know they've got they've got a bit of a brotherhood on that team. And then Mexico, like they're a very scrappy team, you know. Watching them in in the qualifying stage for the World Cup, especially as a Canada fan, it's just. Mexico is going to be a tough team to beat, and I feel like this this group is just going to be a very scrappy, a very scrappy group. <laughs> but I, I've got Argentina at my as my winner, and then I think Poland will be the runners up. They've they've just got a lot of European depth, and then obviously, you know Lewandowski as as their top player, and then Chesney's a pretty good goaltender as well. So yeah, big up Zielinski as well, their midfielder. He scored a few exactly. goals for them this. Starting to score goals for Poland. Before that, he wasn't, but he started to finally hit the net for them. Uh, anyway, back on the prediction topic. I think Mexico will do it because they always make it, or seem to make it, to the round of 16. It's a very tough thing. I could see Poland being the ones to upset them, but going off of experience once again, and just Mexico's quality to, to scrap it up in the last few minutes and show up and get those goals when they're needed, I think Mexico will do it. Poland have been very, very poor at the back, I feel like. They've conceded a lot of goals. I'm looking here, and they lost 2-0 to Netherlands, 6-1 to Belgium. They just haven't been in a very mediocre form. They've won some games. They've lost pretty badly in some other ones. So they could do it, but they'd have to be at their best, I feel like, to get out of this group. So that's why I picked Mexico for my choice. Like, I mean, Mejbury, who's like a talent for Man United, but I, don't, I think he plays for their U team, to be honest. So. And then, and then they've got Kazri, who's who's pretty old nowadays, right? He's getting. My up. goat from FIFA 16. What a legend. FIFA 16. Anyway. A legend. But it's like. You know, all their players. I don't really know much about their players. I want to so. see how they made it, to be honest. I just want to learn, like, how did they make it? I want to look yeah. at this. Like, they beat. Um... They beat Molly. Yeah. Uh... Who else? They, they beat Molly. Um, Is that it? They beat Molly. Like, that's the last round. Interesting. I don't really. I'm not really sure. I don't really. I mean, know I'm trying how, to look here. They yeah, they beat. They had, looks like they had a oh. really easy run, but I could be wrong. They they beat. Uh, they beat Zambia, Molly. Oh man, they had an easy run. I'm beat, sorry if that's hating, but that beat, was a very easy run. They beat Mauritania, who's. They're all very mid team, so they want to mid off basically. Equatorial Guinea, like these these clubs, like in Africa, right? You've got a couple good teams. But They've got a few good teams now, but... but then most most of these teams that 
are making it to the World Cup are being teams that don't really have the greatest of talent. They might got like one good player, but at the end of the day, like they're not like your France or your Germany or where they have just talent coming out of the you know, they're just they're not they don't have the greatest of talent. But um yeah, I don't know. I think the winner for this group is France. You know, I, I, I think that's a pretty easy choice for me. But no no discredit to Denmark or Australia, who've got pretty solid teams. Like Christian Eriksen will have a bit of a... will want to have a bounce back to the Euros, that unfortunate event that happened. So, you know, Denmark's going to be fighting for something, which is why I have France as my winner, and then I have Denmark as my runner-up. Alright, hot take alert then. I think Denmark is going to top this group. But they're, they have such a solid defense for most of the time, and they're just such a compact group. Like, Yeah, they've got Schmeichel. Yeah, yeah. Schmeichel is elite. I don't know why. I think Leicester had money problems. That's why they sold him. But don't get me wrong, just because he's playing in League One, he's still a very good player. Keeper on his day. They have very solid defenders like Christensen. I can't name everyone because my... I, I, <laughs> Not, not the best off of my head here, but they have Christensen, Eriksen in the midfield, obviously, and they got a couple good depth players. I remember there's a guy who coming off the bench. He scored like three games in a, a row to win, get some winners. They have just create. If they can get in that form, they'll they'll definitely tear it and go on a run in this World Cup. I feel like, and France, obviously number two for me. People yeah. think Australia is gonna go on a dream run. I just they'd have. I don't know how that would ever happen. Maybe I'm going to look dumb if that ever happens, but I just don't see it happening, so I'm going to have to go with France here. Yeah, Australia, like, they've got a couple Prem players, I, I think, but I don't know. I don't think their team is that great. They, they had a pretty easy run into the into the World Cup. You know, they... they oh, they beat Peru on pens to make it, and they beat UAE. Um... I don't know, they just, they just, yeah, they had a pretty easy run, but it's, it's still, like, we gotta give credit to every team that makes it, obviously, but mm -hmm. I just don't see Australia or, or Tunisia making it out of this group, like, it's a tough group, it's a very tough group, I think France and Denmark will just storm away with the, uh, with the top two spots, and, um, yeah, that's, that's where we stand, so, yeah. I think personally, Germany will bounce back from their horrible 2018 World Cup. If you guys remember that, they lost to South Korea, I think it was, or they lost. I can't. They handed them, I think, their first win in like a World Cup or something, or first goals maybe two. I can't remember. But yeah, Germany will definitely want to bounce back, and I think they'll start. They'll just come out flying out with everything. They brought Gotze back, the goat. There's no way. I couldn't believe when I saw that. So they're just, I think they're gonna have, be, have those vibes. Miller, Miller will go crazy. He he missed that, he missed an empty net or something like a tap in against England. And he'll definitely, he'll definitely not forget that and come back and own this World Cup. So I think Germany yeah. will hopefully, I, I would like to see them go on a run. So I think Germany will get win this group. And man, Spain, they had a good Euro run kind of. They made it against Italy and they unfortunately, they probably deserved to win but lost. And they have made some bold choices with their lineup that I think could cost them, but I will still give them second in the group. So Dane as well, a young talent. Like they, their 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 forwards are really great, and their and their defense is solid, and their midfield is solid. Like they've got, they they've got a very solid squad. Like, you, like Gundogan is just is that guy that you want in the back. And, and yeah, he's field. crazy for Man City. He always scores. He just spawns in and scores. It's crazy. Like he he's he's solid, and then you've got like, well, if Neuer's injured now, but then you've got Ter Stegen who can just back that up, who's unreal still. So it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a pretty easy group, I feel like for Germany, but um and Spain, but I I, I you gotta give credit to Costa Rica and Japan. They're, they'll definitely put up some fight. All right, group E. Group E. This this is an interesting group. I, uh, quality. All four teams are pretty quality. I mean, maybe minus Costa Rica. <laughs> I don't know about you, but. They got Navas, man. What do you mean? They showed, they started, like, they were not going to make it. And in the final three games, they showed up. So, 
That was, that was really interesting. Like, they were, like, at the bottom. And remember, they went to the top. That was really interesting. They were bottom three of qualifying. Mm -hmm. They were the last team to make it out of CONCACAF. So that, like, I don't think they make it out of this group. But, you know, is Navas still there? <laughs> Yeah, he. I think, be, I think that's also a problem is that Navas has been relegated to backup, so he might be out of form or not yeah. as good if he doesn't if he comes out like not being warmed up. But they have a few probably warm up games I would think fixtures to warm them up, so maybe that's not a problem. We'll see. At Costa Rica, I remember what they did to Italy in 2014, so I that's why I'm like I don't want to misjudge them too much because <laughs> they definitely have that capability of going on a run they also have white cap legend kendall watson unless they didn't call him up i don't know their squad so if yeah, they called him up really white cap legend i met him once at actually at a restaurant downtown so <laughs> shout out to watson oh this is my favorite group group f <laughs> oh, we're, oh man I I want to hype up Canada as much as possible, but this oh man, group, this group I just I I'm, I'll let you answer this one first. I'll see where you stand. Best, oh man, this is a tough group. <laughs> there's so many obvious answers, and there's so many like Morocco and Canada are both like I I, I, I wouldn't call Canada underrated, but Morocco seems to be underrated by a lot of Canadians. Like, people forget they have Hakimi, and they're just, like, a solid team. Who's that midfielder they have? What's his name again? Amrabat. They have Amrabat. Fiorentina. He's really good in the midfield. Napoli almost signed him last year. He's also got I forgot, he returned to their team. That's, like, the whole thing why they changed their coach was to get him to play. That's what might cost them, though. Everyone doesn't... Everyone overwrites the fact that they changed their coach right before the World Cup. And they didn't have any time to warm up that system. So they might not have that like experience that Canada has going through the qualifiers with that same team. But we'll, I think they'll still probably get third in the group Morocco. I don't think they'll qualify. But my winner is... Uh, yeah, man, this is tough. I think Croatia. But it's a tough battle between those top two. Yeah, I... Like, I... Croatia, right? You've got... Modric, probably his last World Cup. Um, and, and same with Perisic. And, uh, you know, m most, like, Croatia is a very solid team. Very solid team. Um, but they are beatable. Um, which is why I have Belgium as the winner. You know, they are, I think, number two in the world now. I think Brazil's number one. And then, like, I, I just, I gotta give it to Canada. I'll give them the runners up over Croatia. It's, it's... That crazy. It's a crazy no. take, but I just, I have to back up Canada, you know? Like, you've got Davies, just, you know, gonna come in and tear up, probably. You know, Kyle Lahren, the, the goal scorer for this team. You've got Jonathan David as well, and, and, and our, our defense. I like Alistair Johnston. I like I like Richie Larea. You know, I, I like I like our team. I like our squad. Like, I'm just... Steven, Stefan Eustachio has got to pop off this World Cup. If we, uh, if we have... If we want to have any chance of making it out of this group. But, you know, just... Just watching the Canada run from the beginning, you know, back when they were trying to qualify for this octagon, you know, playing teams like Cayman Islands, beating them 11 nothing, like, it was embarrassing for, for Cayman Islands. It's just... Like, we've come so far as a team. I, I just think that, you know, the brotherhood that we've got on this team is just gonna push us to the top. And I think we're gonna qualify out of this group, but it's, it's definitely gonna be a tough one. I think my runner-up, unfortunately, for Canada, as, as much as I'd love to see them go through, I just want to have more of a... I like to have more realistic takes. I could obviously... There's so many teams that could go on a run here. There always is. But I'm, I'm assuming that it's going to be like one of the lamest World Cups with like pretty much no, no hot takes, I guess, except for Wales. I guess that's like my only kind of hot take. Or Mexico. Yeah. But I think Belgium's going to go through. Un unfortunately, if Canada makes it, I will be happy. I, I'm not... Like going against my own country, obviously, but I just think Belgium, Belgium, their defense isn't as strong as Croatia's. Their defensive record and 
their squad's kind of aging. Like, Mertens made the squad, but he only has, like, one goal, and he's, like, 35 this season. As much as I, he's my favorite player, but he's kind of falling off. So, I feel like their team is kind of aging. So, uh, as much as I think they could be first, I think it's more likely they get second with that weak defense and aging squad. I mean, Belgium's... Belgium's defense is still solid. Like they've got, um, you know, Courtois in net, which is crazy. <laughs> but they've got, um, wait, is that, does Vertonghen still play for them? Yeah, and he's like 36. That's what I'm talking about. They've, they've got Vertonghen and uh, Alderweireld as well. Yeah, he plays in Belgium now. I think they both do. But I think I think Belgium's forwards are just crazy. Like, yeah. They've got Hazard. Lukaku, Batshuayi, Mertens, like, it's an unreal forward group. And I think then your midfield with, like, with, uh, with De Bruyne carrying that, it's, it's, it's crazy. I wonder if Lukaku still hurt or if he returned. Is Lukaku, let me check Belgium's squad, I don't know if he is still hurt. Or he probably is good, or else I would have heard about it, but. Let me just look quickly to confirm their squad. Uh, Luke, yeah, Lukaku is playing. Okay. Bashwai, Doku. Oh, yeah, Doku. Remember that guy against Italy? You said he's a baller. That's him. The guy, yeah, who, the Doku, young guy. Doku is a young, a young talent. They also have Di Ketteler, I think is his name. He's from Milan. He's had a horrible start to the season, I feel like. Or maybe that's a bit of a harsh word, but a very poor start to the season. And it it would be good for him to start lighting it up at the World Cup, I feel like, for Belgium. So maybe he goes. But, um, yeah, I just think that squad's really old. So maybe they will underperform slightly by getting second. I feel like they're aiming for first. So. Group G. Oh, boy. This is a, another underrated group. There is so many good groups that no one's talking oh, about. Shakiri, Switzerland. Oh, I have to back Switzerland to, there. To, to, to name to name one. The one who always shows up at the World Cup. Liverpool hate it. Liverpool fans are gonna like rate us though, because they think that like Shakiri never performed for them, but he definitely shows up at the World Cup. So people need to keep in mind. Yeah, no, Shakiri, uh, Xhaka, probably one of the best goalkeepers in the game. Jan Summer. Um, just... Oh yeah, that game against France was mm -mm. actually insane. Mm -mm -mm. And then you've got. Uh, and Bolo as well uh, at, at forward for Switzerland. Um, you've got Shar as a defender who's pretty solid, I think. Uh, yeah, like I think this this group's a tough one. Like I don't really know. I don't, this is crazy. Um, you've got Brazil who's top in the world. You've got Serbia who just like I think they. Didn't they get first in their in their qualifying thing? For qualifying thing? Yeah, they went, went over Portugal. Yeah, they they, they have Portugal. Their strikers are actually insane. Like if Italy had even one of those, they'd be so much better. It's insane how many strikers they have that are amazing. It's crazy. I have to Serbia, look at their squad again. Serbia's got Vlahovic, Mitrovic. They also have um Matic. So Milinkovic Savage in midfield, he's so oh, good for Lazio. Man. That's yeah, they, they've, they've got a lot of great a lot of great players. <laughs> Stefan Mitrovic in, in defense, like mm. they no. let me list out their forwards. They have Vlahovic, Jovic, who's been decent for Fiorentina this season, but they probably won't even use him. Mitrovic, they have Illich. Or that's a midfielder now, but they have also have Lazovic, who's pretty good. Uh, pretty good. They, that just that that attacking trio, of Mitrovic, Jovic, and Vlahovic. That's that's crazy. That's that's not allowed. It's not okay. Yeah, it's, it's a tough group. And then we haven't talked about this yet, but Cameroon, like they've they've got Onana in net, who is crazy. Chupo Moting. Uh, My goat, he's in great form. Mm -hmm. I forgot about mm -hmm. that. He's insane. Vincent Abubakar, who is, is you know a solid striker as well. Like, I think I think I don't think Cameroon makes it out of this group. 
They have Guisa but, too, I think, as well. And Guisa, yep, they have... Uh, so Kudu. underrated. He's they insane. have Nkudu, who plays for Tottenham. Um, midfielder. <sighs> this just... This team is... Is crazy. I don't know. This this group is crazy. It's it's tough. I think I think Brazil tops it. For sure. I think Brazil is your top. Just like Neymar, you know, soon he's gonna pop up. This is actually so tough. This might then, I don't even know. This might somehow be tougher than Group B. This is insane. I gotta I wanna back Switzerland, but I have no idea who who makes it in this group really. I wish I could say the same. I want Switzerland to make it. I hope they do. Another team I like that, obviously. I'm Canadian and I have nothing to do with that country. I just like them, their vibes, players. Um, anyway, but uh, trying to be non-biased and go with my actual opinion. Unfortunately, I feel like Serbia will go through. They just have too much talent, I feel like, to not make it. They're in an underrated kind of generation right now. And I feel like they could definitely do it at this World Cup or the next. They could definitely, I think, make it out of the group. So I have to pick Serbia, but I would not be surprised for Switzerland to make it or Cameroon as well. Um, yeah, last group, we've got Group H. Group H. They've got Portugal, Ghana, Uruguay, and South Korea. This, this, this is a bit of a... I think a weaker group, just to put it, you know, nicely. Like you've got Group E with with power horses like Germany and Spain. I mean, Portugal is good. Don't get me wrong, but I they didn't do that great. They barely made it into the World Cup. Yeah, and it's only because Italy just had a they cannot make the World Cup, or else I feel like. If there was any other team they would have that had Italy's quality, they would have made it through and beat Portugal. But it's Italy that choke, right? So mm -hmm. they got lucky that Italy just horrible in qualifying, and North Macedonia beat them by one goal in the 90th minute, and then got they got destroyed by Portugal in the 70th minute. The next game, three goals in like 10 minutes. So yeah, I don't yeah. I don't see this uh, Portugal doing so hot this tournament. But it is Ronaldo's last showing, so maybe they do. It is Ronaldo's last showing, yep. And I think Group H with Portugal, Ghana, Uruguay, and South Korea, it's not the greatest squads. I mean, like, I don't know. Both, all these teams are pretty average, you could say. Like, I'm, I'm not really sure who's on who's on Ghana's team or or South Korea's team. Um. Uruguay, I mean, you've got Suarez, who it's probably it's his his last World Cup as well, and and you've got Darwin Nunes, who's who's pretty good as well. Cavani. Darwin, Darwin Nunes. Have you heard that song on TikTok? <laughs> yes, yes, I have. <laughs> but it's just, I mean, Canada lost to Uruguay in like a pre-World Cup friendly. Yeah, to nothing with their kind of half normal team, half backup type of thing. Yeah. I think, I think, for me, the winner will be Portugal, just because Ronaldo, and and like Bruno Fernandes, and yeah, and you know, just I think this group's pretty easy for 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 Portugal, and then I think Uruguay is the runner-up as well. So yeah, those are my two picks. So yeah, those are my two picks. I think I'm gonna go with uh, just because Portugal seem to always underperform but still make it. I think I'm gonna go with off of that logic and say Uruguay first. Not really any particular reason, just history. Maybe this is a terrible take and stupid take, but I think with how Portugal does it is that they barely scrape out of the group. So I think Portugal will be runner up and Uruguay first. That's what you love about the World Cup. There's anybody that exactly. can go on a run, pretty much. It's it's wonderful, but yeah. Now that we've got our our teams that are making out of the group stage, let's move on to the bracket. So. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> my round of 16 match one is Netherlands versus Wales. What about you? Round of 16 match one Senegal versus Wales. 
Because even if Senegal make it out, they're still... I doubt it's going to be an easy job for them unless they, they show me up here. But I doubt it'll be an easy job. Same for Wales, I guess, too. They got a tough group. Oh, man. With Wales' previous run in the Euros, I'm going to have to back them. I haven't seen enough. I know Senegal won the Africa Cup of Nations, but I feel like... I just back Wales for whatever reason. I have a feeling about them. Bale, this is probably his last. He, he'll want to do his best efforts. They got Dan James. If He started, he scored against Man United, I think, recently. His former team. Yep. He's pretty fast. Maybe he can do something with that speed on the in the international stage. And um, I just have a feeling about this Wales team that they could go far. And uh, I hope hope I'm right about that one. That's a bold take. <laughs> Yeah, so you're you're picking Wales over Senegal? Yeah, that's that's a tough take, but hopefully it ages well. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm picking Netherlands over Wales just because like I, th I think Netherlands has just got better players like Van Dijk, Depay, De Jong, Bergwijn, yeah. Gakpo, like De Ligt, like it's it's crazy. They they've got an unreal team, but yeah. My round of 16 match two is Argentina versus Denmark. What about you? Argentina versus France. Match two. I got Argentina versus Denmark. I think Argentina beat Denmark here. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, man. So it's basically who do I think would go to the final or like semis type of thing? Unless this is. Unless that is wrong too, but I don't know. Who. That's so tough. This could be a final. That hurts. Argentina versus France. That. I don't know. <laughs> I can't. Argentina obviously got Messi, Di Maria, they got a class team. Dybala as well. Dybala. I don't actually know if Di Maria is going because of injury, but if he's back or not, I think he is. But they got such a good team. Same with France, they got Mbappe, they got... <laughs> yeah, Mbappe, obviously, like I just said. Um, Pogba, if he's back by then. Benzema, Griezmann. Benzema, Griezmann, Giroud. Giroud. I don't even know if Giroud Lloris. made the team. It's so good. Lloris. Lloris is kind of... His form is kind of bad right now, actually. But usually he's solid. They got Mang Mian, but I don't think he's back in time for the World Cup. Uh, yeah, like they... Varane as well on defense. There's either reason for this to be a hot take for either side, but I'm going to have to pick... Ar I'm going to have to back Argentina to go further than France in here. Especially with the World Cup. The World Cup curse or whatever. It's called when you win a World Cup and you don't go back to back or you don't make it very far. True. I true. it'd be even hard for France to make it out of the group, I guess, with that. But I think that they're gonna lose in the round of sixteen here. I mean, France also just <coughs> suffered an injury with Nkuku as well. Yeah. Like, that's yeah, that that was an unfortunate loss for them. But yeah, I, I don't know. Messi's just gonna have something to prove. That's why I picked. Argentina over Denmark um, mm -hmm. it's it's crazy like this honestly Denmark could win Argentina could just beat them like crazy like it's it's, it's hard to it's predict. The World Cup. yeah it's the World Cup it's hard to predict <laughs> um all right match three I've got England versus Senegal what about you England versus Netherlands that's a tough ooh, match ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> ah even mine England versus Senegal I have no idea I don't know I don't know. Like, I want to back Senegal because they got, like, Napoli legend Koulibaly. Of course, Koulibaly would go, but... Yeah, I don't know. That's a tough one for Sadio, you. Sadio okay. Mane is injured, but he still made the team. So, like, on, like they've got... Uh, they've got Gay, who plays for... Does he play for Everton, right? Or is he on a different team? Idris. I think he plays for Everton again. Yeah. Yeah, they've got Idris Gay who, who plays for Everton, and is a very solid midfielder you know they've got Edward Mendy who's unreal and in net um just this team is crazy and 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 England is crazy too like I if England get out of the like if they lose in the round of 16 the whole World Cup will be crazy like you know they've got Harry Kane Saka Grealish Foden Mount like Trent If, if, if England gets out of the round 16, it would be funny, but it'd also be very devastating for England fans that haven't seen their team really win anything for a very long time. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. Yeah, 
It's coming home. It's coming. <laughs> no, that gets <laughs> annoying, but yeah. Yeah. Um, match four, round of sixteen. I've got France versus Poland. What about you? Right. I got Denmark versus Mexico. Ooh. Completely different. Ooh, that's a little cheeky matchup. <laughs> yeah. Mm, for me, France versus Poland. I. France. Like I got France all day of the week on that one. Mm -hmm. oh, I, there's not really much to talk about about uh, against France versus Poland other than just Lewandowski might perform well, but France. Well, I don't know. I just think they're they're gonna make it another round of 16. Even with that World Cup curse, I just I don't know. I I see them beating Poland. So yeah. It'll definitely be a tough match here too with England and Netherlands. Oh man, I feel like. Maybe using Euro's experience as much as I am is a bad idea, but I think England just made it to a final. I know they're in bad form, so this could really backfire. They don't make it out of the group, but I'm going to have to back England here, unfortunately, as much as I don't want to. I think that they have the experience, they have the talent, and not like Netherlands doesn't have talent. That might have came off wrong, but I just think England... Maybe not as much as a particular reason I'd like to say. I just back their talent... Um, and uh, I think they have uh, just too much of a good team to go back home of around a 16. And if they do, then I think their coach is fired 100%. So I yeah. back England. Mm. Yeah, no, I, I see Denmark beating Mexico in, the, in that matchup. So, yeah. Ooh, round of 16, match five. What, what do you have for this? Germany versus Belgium. That's got to be the match of the tournament. That's like a, that's, a, France. that's a final right there. That's a World Cup final. And that's like there's like two or three finals in this. It's crazy. Yeah, I've got I've got Spain versus Canada. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, way man. different. I yeah, I I see. I don't know. I, I like Canada, but I think their 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 road ends here. I I, I got Spain. Yeah, Maybe I Canada. could. I don't know. I couldn't even if it's your bracket. I could not see Canada going that far. After that that's I not just, I, I gotta I gotta back my home country so. I know I'm just saying like don't see them going if they made it any further than they could not be in Spain I feel no, like no 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 I mean you've, you've got teams like Sweden right who have amazing defense they only get like 14 percent possession against Spain and then they beat them somehow but I just I don't see this I don't see that being a case against Canada I just I don't know I, I think I think Spain will just kind of carry away and, and just get the win here but but yeah who knows? Round of six, oh man, Denmark versus Mexico. Either team. I think Mexico got a round of 16 curse still. I'm going off a lot of curses here. Curses are meant to be broken, so don't be surprised if they go, everybody breaks them this year. Would be good for the game to for, to not have a million curses. But with off of lot, with off of previous World Cups, I just feel like Denmark will win. And they've got just solid defense that I think Mexico maybe doesn't have. Maybe that's a bad take. I just think Denmark has a bit of a better team. And they will close it out like a one-two, one nothing win, maybe two-one or two nothing win. So, I back Denmark. Mm. Yeah, no, I, I see Denmark beating Mexico in that, in that matchup. So yeah. Germany versus Belgium. That got to be the match of the tournament. Germany versus Belgium is actually uh, my match seven. So I'll predict that with you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't All know. Right. That's. This is crazy. Belgium versus Germany. Who do, who do we pick? <laughs> who, who it's impossible. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, uh. Belgium or Germany? I gotta like analyze in my head here for a quick second. Like this is actually really tough. Germany, it's, it's they got. So, it's so tough. They got class forwards. It's the same thing as Belgium. Their defense is, I feel like, a bit better. It, it's but so it's tough. it's still I'm not top it. top of the crop type of thing. I'm gonna do a coin flip. That's how tough it is. Heads is heads is Belgium, tails is Germany, and uh, flip. Okay, it was heads, which means I got Belgium beating Germany. That's what that's what I'm going with. I'm just gonna. Going I was not gonna. I was actually gonna predict it myself just because I feel like maybe. I don't know. This it's, is still tough. It's literally a 50-50, but I'm just picking with my gut on a 50-50, which will not probably age well. I'm picking Germany because of their experience again. Even though, I, and I feel like that bounce back narrative that I was talking about, I feel like they'll really want it. So they'll at least make it past the round of 16, I think, or they might be in trouble as well. They have that Bayern Munich coach as well. I forgot to mention that. 
they've got a really, really good coach. So, Ooh. I think they'll yeah, definitely try to go on a run. It's going to be very tough to predict that, that, that. My next matchup's another final two. I'm actually done. This is insane. My, my next... All right. Match six. Brazil versus Uruguay. Um, I... I see Brazil winning. I, I see Brazil winning. I think they just got more talent than Uruguay. And, uh, yeah. That's, that's my prediction. Fair enough. I think... Brazil versus Portugal, another final. Um, man, oh man, I think I know where Portugal has a class. Ronaldo, he's kind of. I don't want to make his point about Ronaldo because I will literally get like death threats probably. But that's just assuming. But people like go to like that like that point for Ronaldo to defend him. He hasn't played as much this season. Obviously, he's capable of getting his moments. It's Ronaldo, one of the best players of all time, of course, this generation. And um. I just think that Brazil will go through, or I think they have more class in every, almost any aspect. And uh, maybe that's a bit rude to Portugal. They have a great squad. I know their coach is kind of holding them back, is what the issue is too. But I just think Brazil will take it from here. Better coach, better system probably. I haven't, looked, actually I haven't looked about their system, so maybe not that, but better. Just, I think they have overall more class. Like, it's just crazy how many Brazil forwards there are that got left out in there. It's just crazy how many good players they have, and half the players that were left out, like Gabriel from Arsenal, would start for another country. So, Brazil's got that depth. Yeah, that's that's why they're number one in the world. So, mm -hmm. now, uh, match seven. Who do you have for that? I have Croatia and Spain. So another good matchup. I wouldn't say final worthy, but still pretty pretty even teams. Oh man, <laughs> oh man. Who would I back? They both play have really good sets of midfielders. I don't know. I, I know Croatia went into the final last time, so I might have to back them for that. But Spain also has Morata, who plays really good for them. So, mm -hmm. I want to pick Spain, but I, I feel like Croatia is just common knowledge or common sense that they would go through on this. So, I feel like I'm going to have to back Croatia with their Modric's last run and everything like that. Picking Canada over Croatia, it's just like a backing my own country but it's like I, I definitely see Croatia you know I they can make it up the round of 16 against. Mm -hmm. it's just I, I gotta back him um but yeah match eight final match of the round of 16 I got Portugal versus Switzerland what about you I have Uruguay versus Serbia mm. Mm, that's a cheeky one yeah no I, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna I think Switzerland's time ends here I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Portugal for my my last round of 16 matchup just just based off Ronaldo you know it's his last one he's gonna be a whole different beast and uh yeah I just think Portugal will, will top Switzerland on this on this matchup uh for mine Uruguay versus Serbia I think Uruguay would win they just have I feel like Mark's against, again, I'm banking on experience so hopefully experience does matter in this World Cup or I will actually have horrible takes so I think Uruguay does have a bit more experience in the Serbia squad, and they just have Suarez and Cavani, who again are in their la peak, their last years, not peak, but their last years, will really want to go on a final run, because this is their last chance to do anything for the World Cup. So I think you're, I just back Uruguay. They also have Nunes, the new generation. So I think that they will go through. Yeah, I mean Uruguay also only beat Canada 2 nothing against the Canada's B team a little bit um but still like it's 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 football it's the world cup mm -hmm. anything can happen but uh yeah let's move on to the quarter quarter let's move on to the quarter finals oh, oh my <laughs> <laughs> oh my how does that happen that okay my matchups are crazy Who's your quarterfinal one? Wales versus Argentina. Oh, I got Netherlands versus Argentina. <laughs> yeah, this one's a pretty easy one then for me. Who I'd pick. Yeah, no, Argentina beat Wales. Yeah, I, I, I'm not that deluded. I want Wales to go far, so I'd be happy if they somehow win this, but Argentina for sure to win this one. You know what? They'll regret, they'll regret not picking Simeone, Argentina. My you go. I'm going with Netherlands. 
Main reason? Wow. Their, their midfield. Wow. Their midfield is better than Argentina's. You've got De Jong. <laughs> you've got. That is the hottest take I've seen in a while. Xavi Simons. You've got. You know. I think it's Xavi Simmons, but maybe Xavi it is Simons. Simmons. Whatever. You know. You've got. <sighs> that is crazy. I'm picking. I'm picking Netherlands. I'm picking Netherlands. It's, wow. Yeah. Like if they've got Van Dyke, who's one of the best defenders. You've got the pie who, who pops off for his country. You've got the young, like the Licht as well. Like it's crazy. So yeah, like and they've got Nathan Ake, who is an <laughs> unreal defender. I just I'm back in Netherlands. I'm back in Netherlands. So yeah, and they're gonna want to rebound after that 2020 Euros. So. You'll never guess my quarterfinal two. A recreation of what happened what in 2014. It? Germany versus oh. Brazil. That's Ooh, that is would be a narrative and a half. <laughs> I got oh. Brazil for Spain. My I'm, goodness. I'm picking I'm picking Brazil over Spain easily here. This is I can see this go another 50-50. This is full of 50-50s. Yeah. But I'm gonna have to back Brazil. They'll want the revenge for their history. Yep. They, obviously, the new yep. players they don't have that burden on their back as much. Maybe they have some players like Casemiro. I don't, I don't know if he was in that squad. If there was any players that were in that squad, Neymar, he would want that Neymar, revenge. I don't yep. think he's playing because he got injured, but he will want to fight for his old teammates. He'll want to bring up the new generation to get that monkey off their back if that's the term, and just you know, get, just show them that what they're capable of, and maybe. You know, show Germany that that won't happen again. The seven to one devastating thing for their country. I remember at the time we used to, I had like used to take in like international students. They were like, one of them was Brazilian. They were just crying. It was like horrible. Like it was devastating for their people from their country. So yeah, I know I, I back Brazil to get it back this time. So, but I could see Germany winning again, and it's it's lame for the narrative, but I think Brazil will do it. Yeah, I just I got Brazil beating Spain. It's pretty easy shout for me here like i i, mm -hmm. I mean i spain's good but they're not they're not amazing you know i i think most of their players are getting a little old but they do have young talent um i just think brazil's solid i think brazil's gonna win quarterfinal two here quarterfinal three i have england versus france <laughs> i have england versus denmark um Oh, oh man, those are two tough matchups. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say friends. I'm gonna say friends. I just. I was gonna say the same. Yeah, sorry, England fans, but I'm saying France here. I, I think England can. I don't think England versus France historically has been great for England. I, I'm not really sure on that, but I think France will will dominate England well here. So yeah. England versus Denmark. I just don't think this is a really easy one for me. Um. I don't think Denmark could really compete with England right now, especially in the quarterfinal where there's a lot of pressure. I don't think that they could, it would, you know, I think it'd still be like a 2 nothing, so it'd seem a bit closer than it is, but I think maybe this is a really hot take and I don't have to go this far out, but I think it'd take a lot for Denmark to beat England in a quarterfinal. Props to them if they were to do it, something like that. But I just think England has that experience once again. They got that talent, that squad that maybe Denmark doesn't have as much. So I think I back England. Yeah. Um, yeah. Very, very uh, different brackets, me and you. But, you know, <laughs> we, we all were, you know, it's <laughs> who knows? Yeah. Who knows? You can honestly, honestly, like Canada and USA could. In the final. Who knows? But yeah, who knows? Tunisia can make it out of their group because someone does terrible, true, right? True, true, so true, true. Don't know. someone might get injured. You know, uh, who knows? Uh, quarterfinal four. I got Belgium versus Portugal. I got Croatia versus Uruguay. <laughs> wow, <laughs> my different. my quarter my quarterfinals are crazy. <laughs> oh, my, my round of sixteen was insane. This is a bit more of a mid off, except for Germany and Brazil. Yeah. So I, Belgium versus. Portugal. I'm I'm picking Belgium. I'm picking Belgium. I think I think Portugal like you know 
their, their, their run into the World Cup wasn't that great. So I think <laughs> they've made it this far. You know, Ronaldo's given it his best shot, but I, I back I back Belgium. I just I just do. So yeah. Yeah, they beat them in the Euro, so maybe Portugal want the revenge. You could say that, or you could say, you know, Belgium does it again. So. No, I think Belgium will own Portugal in this game. I feel like it'll be like a two nothing, two nothing easy win for them or something. Like one, one nothing in the twentieth minute, and then like two nothing in like the eightieth minute or something like that. So yeah. Yeah. Croatia versus Uruguay. That is a tough one. That is a tough one, but I'm going to have to go... Again, I'm not best at explaining my thoughts here, but I just think Croatia, their squad again, their midfield is a lot more solid than Uruguay's, I feel like, unless I'm missing someone here in my, my brain. I think no, there's... I think there's Modric strength, and, you know. and Rakitic is just great. They got... Yeah, they just... I think they'll scrape this one out, even unless I'm missing someone. They don't have the best strikers, probably. But uh, I think they'll scrape this one out for sure. All right, to the semifinals. Holy! Oh, oh. I have a final. Both well, these are like fine. These are finals. These are finals. I have Netherlands versus Brazil in my first semifinal. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Isn't that the third place match from 2014? I have to Google that. I'm not sure, but that's. Ah, I said this, you know, before, and I'm going to back it. I think Netherlands... Yeah, that was the third place. It was the, for the third place, and Netherlands beat them 3 nothing. So revenge for that, I'm, maybe. I'm I'm picking Netherlands over Brazil. I'm, he is backing his second country. I am, that I is am, crazy. I am picking Netherlands over Brazil. I'm sorry. I just... I don't know. They didn't do anything in, in the... Uh, you know, they didn't do much in the, 20, uh, in the Euros this year, but... Hey, it feels different. Cup. It's the World Cup. <laughs> they got Van Gaal back at the helm. Mm -hmm. So, yep. different team. Coleman's not there anymore, or whoever was the coach at the time. So, I, so. I, I, I just, yeah, I picked Netherlands. What about you? <laughs> Who's, your sem Who's in your semi final one? Uh, my semi final one. I got Argentina versus Brazil, which a lot of people call their final, or I don't know if that's how that works, but they said that this would be one of their, wi each of their winners, like, people think pick Argentina or Brazil 90% of the time, so this decides the winner pretty much. So who yeah. do I basically think is going to win the World Cup, is what I'm going for right now. Wow, this is hard. Do I think Messi's going to win it, or Neymar? Argentina or Brazil? Who, my goodness, who, I don't know who to pick. I'm not good with decisions like this, man. This is not okay. I literally don't know. I'm going to have to bag Argentina, I feel like. That is a tough, <laughs> tough decision. That is one of the toughest. I, I've said this about 40 times, but this is just so tough. I literally, can, I could flip a coin to answer this, but I'm just gonna go with my own answer. I think, or I guess Argentina. I really don't know. I'm getting, I just feel Messi really wants it. He'll go to another final, and I feel like yeah, he's gonna want it. I feel like he wants it maybe a bit more than Neymar. Neymar has another chance, even though he said he might retire by then. But I doubt it. There's no shot he retires now. I think he might be lying a bit. He'll change his mind. But uh, I think I think Argentina will do it. But uh, like I say with most of my other hot takes or similar answers, I definitely wouldn't be shocked if Brazil go and win this as well. So, Argentina. Yeah. Um, second semifinal, I got France versus Belgium. Two teams that are very... Wow. Just... Wow, wow. Wow, yeah. That's a wow, wow matchup i don't know i don't really know who to pick here i'm gonna be real um hmm. who do you have <laughs> england versus croatia Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Man, oh man. i i'm picking <sighs> 
I'm picking Belgium. I'm picking Belgium over France. I'm going with that. I'm going with Belgium over France. Honestly, I, I really have no clue anymore. I'm just kind of going off of... Yeah, Sam, I'm just... Yeah, I I mean, do you back England winning their first, you know, international tournament for the first time in, in like, since the 60s? Or, or do you do you give it to Argentina, give it to Messi, who's, who's on his last, you know, World Cup? It's, it's very tough. <laughs> it's very yeah. tough. Yeah. Um, I, I've got Belgium versus Netherlands. I, I back Netherlands all the way up here, but I think I, I'm giving the World Cup to Belgium. I'm giving my World Cup to Belgium. Um, you know, Belgium's old, but that they're at their peak right now. After this World Cup, they're gonna be pretty mid. Uh, but I, I think I think Belgium wins this World Cup. So yeah. All right. For me, England versus Croatia. I want to say Croatia. It's a really tough one again. I think England scrapes it out. I really, I don't know why. It, you can, I really was thinking Croatia, but I persuaded myself to think a little bit. And, you know, I think it's England after thinking a bit deeper. I, I think that, you know, Harry Kane, that he always scores. If you give him a penalty, he 90, at least 90% of the time scores it. I don't know if it's a 100% record still, but he scores it most of the time. And, um... I feel like get a penalty or they go to penalties. I, I think England has that experience to not make a mistake by putting a teenager up for the penalty again. The winning, deciding penalty. So, I think England would go through. Argentina versus England. Uh-uh. <laughs> uh-uh. I have Netherlands versus Belgium. Holy moly, these are tough matchups. I think, okay, first of all, we should do the third place. Yeah, do that. I have Brazil versus France. I think Brazil gets third place. Brazil versus Croatia, same here. Yeah, Brazil, Brazil gets third place. They, they at least get a medal in this World Cup, um, but... I feel like that's disappointing for them. I hope they make it to the final because that's very disappointing for them if they get third place again. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's tough to predict the World Cup. I know, I'm just saying for them, like, that'd be, like, very bad for them. They can't keep just making it True. to third place in this True. amazing squad they have. It doesn't make sense. Brazil's solid, but I, I think they get the, this, this year. Same here. But, uh, yeah, the final. Do you know this is, like, an iconic matchup, too? Argentina versus England, like, they have a rivalry. A little bit of a rivalry. Like, I looked at, the, like, a documentary, and they have a bit of, like, they did some things, and then Beckham got back at them. So, either they just don't like each other, these two countries, in the soccer world, the, the football, the World Cup stage. So, I, this is a definite, definite top matchup so so yeah all right man i have i feel like maybe i'm wrong but a bit of a tougher matchup here to predict i didn't think it'd be this difficult i was backing argentina but like looking in my head i could definitely see this as an england thing to win after we're losing their last final against italy how devastated they were get their revenge and argentina win their last cup so they might be underestimating england a bit but at the same time argentina does have that winning experience you know, I didn't consider that right away. They have that winning experience. They won the Copa America. You know, their Messi didn't show up in the final as much, but you know, Di Maria, he showed up. The you know, that's what you need is other characters besides your main guy to show up. And for England, do I think anybody but else but Harry Kane would show up in that final? That's the problem. Maybe, maybe Saka, but it's like he's so young. He, he's never yeah. been in this in this kind of scenario before. It, like, he's been in the Euro final, but that's a completely different breed. It's like the step, a little bit of a step down. It's, it's the Euros. You've got yeah. Now you've got South America, North. America, you have ev Asia, you can say you have all of Europe's eyes on you. Now for this tournament, you have everybody's eyes world. on you. It's the pro is, That's a whole different this, thing. This is the biggest tournament in the world, and. <sighs> most of England's squad does not have that kind of experience that, you know, other teams have. England's also in one of their best generations they've had in a while. No one ever says anything because it's England and their squad's overrated or whatever. But after going through this and realizing they are in a, like a, a, a generation no one's talking about that's pretty solid. So they could maybe be here for a while with the team they have. So mm -hmm. I think England will either... I, I could see them going through and winning this barely, but um, I'm going to have to back Argentina. They have that winner mentality. They have the characters who will show up, like Di Maria, 
Did you, Di Maria, yeah, he's the main one that comes to mind because he won that Copa America winner. He, they just have so many good characters to show up if Messi doesn't, you know, get a goal in the final. They don't just need Messi anymore. So, and they have a really good coach right now, which Southgate isn't probably as great as a coach as the Argentinian coach. So. Yeah, no, that, that's, I think this is, I think we did well. I think we did well to predict. <laughs> oh, man, I think, yeah, this is. I'll download my prediction to just I, put it at I, the end of the video or something. Me too, me too. Download one by one or nine by 16. I'll just do one of each. Why not? I, um, I, yeah, I just. That's crazy. Had I just spent an hour and 15 on the World I, Cup prediction. <laughs> I think this World Cup, obviously, because Canada is in it for the first time in, in 30 years, it's. It'll be it'll be a tough one. There's not really a clear winner. Like you know, I my final was Netherlands versus Belgium. Yours was England versus Argentina. Like you, you could honestly put Brazil, you could put Germany, Spain, Croatia. <laughs> like sen literally any team could make it to the final. It's it's uh it's it's a tough yeah. one Thanks for watching me and Antonio do our World Cup rankings. Um. Let us know in the comments if you think our predictions are horrible, and let us know in the comments if you think they're great. Um, but yeah, all I gotta say is go Canada. Uh, obviously, hopefully they win, but you know we'll see. This is a tough World Cup to predict, and uh, yeah, see you guys later. See you guys.